For us, it is an honor to have you around here. Our wish is that the secrets of the sages of ancient India, taught by the renowned Yogi Sadguru, be a powerful tool of self-transformation in your inner journey. Get to know our yoga course by clicking on the link that is in the description of this video and learn more. When will you learn how to handle my thought, how to handle my emotion? We will give you tools how to figure this machine out. Whatever the issue, we'll do our best, but this should not be the issue. In life, there are many phrases where we feel that we are depressed, we are lonely, and when everybody is against us, and there is no one to, you know, guide us or talk about it. So at that moment, how should we handle it or how should we deal with it? See, uh, this is an unfortunate condition that a whole lot of human beings are in, in their experience. In their personal experience, life is like me versus the universe. Being in competition with the universe is a stupid thing to do. That's not a competition you must get into. Hello? Me versus the universe is a bad competition to get into, would you, you also agree with <laughs> So, this is why yoga… Yoga does not mean twisting and turning your body. The word yoga means union. Right now it's me versus the universe. This is just your psychological condition. This is not the reality. Even when you feel utterly lonely, are you still breathing? So you're transacting with the world, isn't it? Yes? You only can't get along with the people around you, but the atmosphere is okay with you, food is okay if it tastes good, water is okay. You have transaction with the world, isn't it? Your existence is constantly an engagement with the universe, but your mind becomes against the universe. If you create a psychological condition that you're against or you're in competition with the universe or the cosmos, obviously you will feel crushed for small things. Little things will crush you. When I say little things, maybe you failed your examination, maybe you got thrown out of this university, maybe you got fired from a job, maybe somebody ditched you, maybe something else like this happened. These are all small things between life and death because you came here with nothing, isn't it? When you die, there is no container service for you. You die with nothing. In spite of that, most people have turned their homes into warehouses. Most people are carrying such a huge baggage on their head as if they are carrying the whole universe on their head. This is their own psychological condition. Your thought and emotion is what you're talking about, right? When are you going to figure out how to handle your thought and emotion? Not hers, not hers, not his, yours. When are you going to learn how to handle my thought and my emotion at the end of your life? The only problem really with life is just this. Most human beings have taken themselves too seriously. They don't understand You've seen on the computer screen these pop-ups? Yes. You are a pop-up on this planet <laughs> You pop up for two seconds and pop out. No, no, you must see, countless number of people like you and me have walked this planet. Oh, they were also big people. Where are they? All? Topsoil? Topsoil or no? Unless they… somebody, your friends decide to bury you real deep, <laughs> fearing that you may raise from the dead. <laughs> you know, there have been such instances. Or maybe you're planning to go to heaven. Hello? Anybody who talks about a place other than this place, as a better place than this, this is a crime against humanity. My fundamental work is to destroy all heavens so that people will learn to live well here. 
All these idiots who made a hell out of themselves, they want to go to heaven. They made a mess out of this place and then they want to go to heaven. I am asking you, do you have any proof? Do you have any proof that you are not already in heaven and messing it up? Do you have any proof? You are already in heaven, making a mess out of it, yes? Simply because you are not even learning how to handle your basic faculties of thought and emotion, isn't it? Your only justification is, everybody is like this only. That's how it is in a madhouse. That is how it is in a madhouse, only a doctor looks crazy. <laughs> so when are you going to handle it? Slowly, at the age of sixty, I'm asking. When will you learn how to handle my thought, how to handle my emotion, how to handle my body, how to handle my chemistry? When are you going to figure this? At the end of your life? Because this culture has grown, when to do spirituality means when you're seventy, when you're no good for anything else. No, at the earliest possible time, whatever is most profound about you, not about heavens, about this life, everything that you need to know, you must know soonest, isn't it? Only then you will live a sensible life. Okay, if I tell you a joke, you won't get offended. Because this is the most serious crowd I've ever seen in the last few years <laughs> How many of them are journalism? <laughs> most of them. Oh, okay. <laughs> this happened. Shankar and Pillai, when he was in Paris, was mar married to a French woman. One day, uh, it was uh, their anniversary, first anniversary. So she w invited a bunch of friends and she wanted to cook something really fresh, everything fresh. So from morning she was driving him to this market, that market, he got this fresh vegetables, fresh meat, fresh chicken, this, that, everything. Then in the evening she said, because the French have this, uh, you know, snail appetizer, she said, go to the beach and get some snails, fresh and I will make some appetizer for all the friends who are coming. So Shankar and Pillai uh, went to the beach and he was picking up all the snails and putting it in a bucket. Then he met an old friend, an Indian guy. They hit it off and they were talking about their old times, he just forgot that he's married <laughs> You know, when you meet old friends it happens <laughs> and uh, both of them went to a bar and they had a few drinks and he just forgot. Then he realized, then the snails were just climbing out and talk one fa snail fell out of the bucket. He realized, oh my god, I'm supposed to take these snails, my wife, French wife, she's waiting. So he said, I need to go and he went. By then it was already very late. He went, he knew it's not going to be pleasant. <laughs> So, he came near the house and spilled all the snails on the ground, threw away the bucket and uh, went and knocked on the door. The French fury came <laughs> He turned back and said, come on you guys, we're almost there, come on, let's go <laughs> So. When are you going to pick your snails and put them in the bucket and fix them? Huh? Your problems, you must fix them, isn't it? These are not problems. I want you to understand you are not suffering your life. You are only suffering two fantastic faculties that only… It's a privilege of being human that we have these two fantastic faculties. One is we have a vi vivid sense of memory. This is because of this memory our life is so rich, unlike any other creature. And we have a fantastic sense of imagination. Now, this is what you're suffering. What happened ten years ago, you can still suffer. Why? Are you suffering life or memory? Hello? Memory. Memory. What may happen day after tomorrow, you're already suffering? E are you suffering life or imagination? Two most fantastic 
faculties you have, you are suffering. So what are you asking for? You want to become once again an earthworm. An earthworm is a very eco-friendly creature, I have nothing against it. But it took millions of years of evolution to get you a this size of brain and now you're suffering it. If we take away half your brain, of course you will sit there without any anxiety, without any suffering, peacefully. <laughs> what we need is we need to remove your brain because you're suffering your own intelligence. Yes or no? Because we gave you a very complex machine, you have not bothered to read even the user's manual. You want to just blunder around. No, young people, it's time you figure out a few things about you. If you don't know how, we will give you tools how to figure this machine out. Because in your life, many issues will come. More issues come up in your life means you're living a more active life. Nothing came up means you're not living, yes? Lots of issues every day. I have the maximum number of trouble going on in my life on a daily basis <laughs> because so much of activity around the world, global level of activity only with volunteers, okay? Volunteers means nobody is qualified for the job and you can't fire them for inefficiency <laughs> and they love you. What to do? This one thing you must fix, that is, in your life, you are not the issue, okay? Whatever the issue, we'll do our best, but this should not be the issue. <laughs>